to rejoice in the Holy Spirit, it is to rejoice. So the faith here, it is uh, to uh, stir up your uh, gift because the gift has all this fruit and it is to stir up. It is by praying in tongues and it is, you know, uh, stirring up yourself. And that's way we see that the rejoicing is not based on what you, you know, you want or it's not based on the things. It's based on the character. It's based on the, um, it's based on what God has given us and it's already been given. So here, Timothy, um, uh, Paul is telling Timothy to, you know, be example, walk in the spirit, walk in faith. And then he's saying, walk in the word, read the word. So he's telling him, and then, you know, and in purity as well. And then in conduct as well. So six things uh, Paul said to be example. And then he's saying it to him, um, you know, um, um, take, give attention to the reading, to the exhortation, and not to, you know, and, and to reading exhortation to the doctrine of the word of God. Because God's word is a, uh, itself is a seed, is a rejoicing. That's what we have received the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the word of God, that is the ministry, that is what we have received and it is uh, with a rejoicing. So we see here how Paul is uh, encouraging him and telling him, you know, what he must do and what he, you know, uh, be example and uh, it is to, you know, obviously encouraging other as well. And he's telling, you know, not to neglect the gift. Then he's telling him, you know, uh, give yourself entirely to these things. So then he's telling to him, it is to um, take heed yourself to the doctrine, continue in them, continue in them. And that's the way we see that, um, you know, it's important to um, give attention to the reading, to the to the reading, to exhortation, and to the doctrine, what the Word of God saying it, because it is the Word of God that we need in our spirit. It is the Word of God that we need, and the Word of God itself is all that is uh, joy, love, and peace. It's all, because um, God's Word is a seed, and what seed you're reading, so what God's word you're reading the, according to your requirement as well. So we are not going into this, but we are staying here as uh, he is saying, Paul is saying, you know, give attention, be an example and continue in the doctrine. Do not neglect the gift. So all these things he's saying it to encourage him and telling him to rejoice in all these things. And rejoicing, it is to remember all the time. Because um, rejoicing, as I mentioned, the very first thing that the resurrection is a rejoicing. It is the Holy Spirit fruit is the very first thing is the rejoicing. The first fruit is a rejoicing that came. It is the love of God that came. Because God's love came, Holy Spirit, and we are rejoicing in God's love. In Jude, it said, uh, you know, um, pray in tongues and keep yourself in, in, in the love of God. Because we have received God's love, reconciliation. We have received the, um, we have received the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have received the the reconciliation ministry to reconcile others as well because we have got the ministry of the reconciliation because we are reconciled to God. So that's why we are rejoicing because we are reconciled to God. We are connected to the Lord. We are connected to Him and we have received the, uh, the reconciliation. We have received the connection. We have received uh, the the 
the entrance in the kingdom of God, we have received the Holy Spirit, we have received God's love. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So that's what it's the uh, Holy Spirit is saying it that to keep yourself in God's love, it is to stir up your gift. It is to pray in tongues. And the joy that we have received, as I mentioned earlier, is a very powerful message that the joy that we have received is a reconciliation. It is the, um, it is the connection. As I'm sharing it, I'm rejoicing. It's, I'm excited in my spirit because Holy Spirit is now talking and telling us that we have received the love of God and the reconciliation and it is the ministry of reconciliation, the gospel of Jesus Christ to preach to the world. It is, that's why he said in Matthew 24, he said, what is your duty to do? It's to preach the gospel to the world. And this is the time to preach the gospel to the world, to the world to know the Lord Jesus. It's, it's them to hear the name of the Jesus Christ. It's them to receive, you know, it's to hear that the, the faith comes by hearing, by hearing the word of God. That's why preaching the gospel so that they will hear and the, and the faith will come by hearing. How would they know Jesus Christ if you are not, if we are not, uh, have, if we have not or we are not preaching, how would? But he say, how would they go if they are not sent? So it is also who are sent to preach the ministry, the word of God. So that's why it is, uh, as I am, pre I am sharing it, is the Holy Spirit is taken over. As I said, when I was talking about the love of God, that we have received the ministry of the love of God, the reconciliation, and that is the joy. Immediately I have sense i'm excited and uh, the presence of the holy spirit is taken over now so he's preaching now he is saying it that preach gospel to the nation that's what it is and he's saying what is the duty for everyone the believer is to preach the gospel of jesus to the nation so that they all will hear the gospel of jesus christ the name of jesus and receive because when they hear it, they, re they will receive the faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. How did uh, I receive uh, the faith? I heard the word of God. I listened to one of the preacher. I did listen one of the preacher and I heard and I listened the preaching and I received the faith immediately because I immediately received the faith because I was listening and uh, heard the word of God. I became like uh, a baby and, you know, heed my ears to listen to what the preacher is saying in every word I was hearing, even though I didn't understand. But I was listening and when I listened, I received the faith because then they say, let's just pray together, you know, um, because I was, I, 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 um, I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ to the uh, satellites. And uh, when I heard it, and immediately they say, you know, forward your hand and let's pray for the people. I forward my hand without knowing anything. Immediately, I saw Jesus Christ on the wall. The gospel became alive to me. I saw Jesus Christ as I received the word, I came into faith, I saw Jesus on the wall. So I saw Jesus on the wall. Because immediately the gospel became alive to me. Because gospel is alive. I'm sharing as I am sharing and, you know, Holy Spirit taken over. Now it's like the 